Okay, well, hello everyone. Today I just wanted to show you quickly how this addressable LED controller works. Um, you can see I've got it plugged into my USB card, or USB device, and I have a very simple um, addressable LED board connected. It is really straightforward to connect these, it's just three wires. Just make sure that the uh, red wire is going to your 5 volt, and then the white wire uh, or black wire, depending on how it's arranged, is going to your ground, with the green wire going to the signal level. Some people ask, like, should it be signal or should it be the ohm? It, it, I've, what I've found is, like, they all work either way. So I haven't really encountered a situation where they don't work either way, but if you, for whatever reason, can't get it working on just the signal, then you can connect it to the resistor output just to make sure that it's fine. You plug that in. And now you've got your adjustable LED set up, and that's on output one. And then, of course, you just run five volts to here. So, very simple. I'll just go ahead and just to get wires out of my way up. Plug this guy too. This magnet bag on It's just those three wires. And, and now I have a uh, very simple configuration tool so that you can test this. Um, you select the version here so either it's a D1 mini or an S2 mini I have the S2 hooked up right now so I'll select that one and then you can once you select that you can update the firmware or you can connect to it and this already has the firmware loaded on it but I can go ahead and show you how to do that if you wanted to load the firmware you see there's two buttons on this there's the D0 button and the reset to get it ready for a firmware upload you have to push that zero button and the ground button. You'll hear your kind of device go, oh, there's something new. This COM port will update to the new COM port. It's COM port 10 now. It used to say COM port 5. Then you just click this firm update firmware, hit OK, and you'll see a dialog come up, and it will connect. You can see it's loading the flash, and now I've got my new firmware installed on the device. Um, once that's loaded, I can press the reset button and it should boot up and you see the lights flashing kind of showing hey the firmware is running got my lights flashing on there so anytime you want to just do a quick test you can always just click the reset button on here and it will always run through the test program as soon as it boots up at that point uh, you can actually connect to this device as well so there's connect this will test connecting to it and you can also send some output data so for this one, this is channel one. I can pick the channel that I want and what brightness I want and then send the data out. And so now it's red. If I want to change it to blue, I can change it to blue. This is really nice just to be able to test, hey, do I have you know addressable LEDs connected to output one? And you can actually test that and see it happening. And then I can just turn them off by turning them off like that. So now it's very easy to see, uh, is everything physically connected correctly? before you go down the rabbit hole of trying to configure it with DOF, which I have a lot of instructions on how to do that. And uh, it's not too bad, but of course this is the first step. Easy, you know, getting it hooked up correctly. And now I've got some tools to help you to do that. So hope you found that useful and I will talk to you guys later.